Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create and we're working on page five. And as I indicated at the end of page four, this is the same flap design, but I've changed the designer paper out. And the reason I wanted to repeat the design was to really take advantage of um, these six by six panels that are in the 12 by 12 collection. I just thought they were really pretty and I wanted to make use of them. Um, and I didn't want to have four six by sixes on one page. So that is where I'm headed. Um, this, I can't remember. <clears throat> I have to go look and see uh, what the scale is. I'm pretty sure, I gotta find my eight by eights real quick. That this is from the 12 by 12, but I'm not positive. <clears throat> finished pages. I've got a stack of six by six somewhere. I must have buried it under something. Well, I'm pretty sure this is from um, the 12 by 12 collection pack. I think the, the eight by eight is a, it's a tighter pattern. Either one will work for the design, but I'm pretty sure this is the 12 by 12. Yeah, and honestly, I don't know what I've done with... Yeah, it is definitely the 12 by 12. There's a strip of it. Okay, so those are going to go uh, left and right. Um, but first, we're going to install our flaps. Okay, we're going to have one on the bottom, one on the top. And uh, we're going to use the same technique. I'm going to use the same technique I always do to locate the center. And... And then also locate the center of the flap and line up those two dots and install the flap. So we're going to have one on the top, one on the bottom, and then both of our flaps. <clears throat> it's hard, it wants to rise up on the ruler. There we go. And one more time. Okay, so those should all line up nicely, but we shall test it in just a moment. <clears throat> I got tired of shuffling my, um, my rulers around and my desk is just an old metal, like an old teacher's metal desk. And so I, what you see on the end of my ruler is a magnet so that when I'm done with it, I just stick it right in the keyhole of the desk. <laughs> so I'm not knocking over everything in my uh, pen holder because I've got a 12 inch ruler. And when I'm at a retreat, I have a magnet that's on my camera stand and I just stick it up there, but I wanna keep reaching for it making the camera wiggle as, as well as just reaching across just to grab my ruler. And it's working out pretty darn good. Someday I'll have my dream office, but it's not today. And I'm, I'm storing all of my ideas. I know for sure now I want an L-shaped desk because I really like having um, my trimmer on my return. And just having to swivel my chair and nothing else. Okay, now I'm gonna make this just like I did um, page four where the bottom flap is going to be the flap that secures everything. So I'm gonna place a magnet here and then another one here. And I kind of like this. Um, this is a magnetized um, craft mat. And so I, I, I never lose magnets now. <laughs> They instantly want to stick down. It's kind of cool. Although I haven't, it still surprises me when it happens because I'm not used to it. Okay, now we're going to put the opposing magnet. I like to center it so that it softens the edges all the way around. And again, this is a bottom up. 
flap design. Good. We did it, we did it. Okay, now we can go ahead and start decorating. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these two strips and I think I'm gonna have to trim them to fit because I think they're a little, yeah, they are a little too long. So I need to take a tiny bit off so they'll close. I can close the uh, flaps. So it is going to be seven and seven eighths is where I'm going, consistent with my 16th inch border. Once I center it, I'll have a 16th inch edge, top and bottom. And I just need to re-ink the edge that I cut. I was really struggling with this pattern, trying to figure out how am I gonna use that pattern. It's just so much. It's really hard on my eyes, quite frankly. But I think this worked out well, just a little strip of it. So I am 90% certain that my next album is Graphic 45, the garden one, which I can't remember the name of right now, um, but it's, a, it's one of the newest releases. I think that's my next album. So if you're watching this and waiting for that, just FYI, that's what I think I'm gonna do. And I have this idea that you guys are either gonna love or hate. I did the Come One, Come All tent, which was really a fun project. I think uh, that of all the projects I've done, I think that's the one I saw posted most to Facebook that people had um, constructed their own. And I, I love seeing that, you know, just for a couple of reasons. One, it's, it's nice to see somebody's take on it, but also just that's the confirmation I need to know that my instructions are good enough that you guys can follow them, which um, obviously is important to me. So what I was thinking about doing, and if you guys don't like this idea, I'll switch gears, is uh, using that same form. And instead of it being a tent, it would be like a gazebo with that collection. And um, I'd love to hear from you guys. So please, I don't care one way or the other. If you love it, great. If you hate it, I wanna hear that too, because I will switch gears and um, make it into um, just a regular album. And if I do make it a regular album, I think I'm going to do something a little different there. And what I'm thinking is a six by eight uh, landscape. And instead of four pages, do six pages. So give me some feedback. I want to hear from you guys. Okay, this is again from the 12 by 12. Oh, and by the way, if I do the um, gazebo thing, it would also have an accompanying six by six mini album, just like I did with Come On, Come All. I had enough in the bundle to do both of those projects. Ooh. That's a little long, but it looks all right. It's tight, it's tight. <clears throat> it's pretty, huh? That's actually the way I wanted it. I did it backwards, but okay. I like it both ways. Oh, I don't even know why I tried. I don't know what it is about score tape, but I can't get my fingernails under it. Just never, never could. Doesn't matter if they're bare, polished, trimmed, long. Okay, if you can hear that thumping in the background, that's, that's my pipes. I have a serious uh, water pressure hammer that I can't get a plumber to fix. They come over, they hear it, and they're like, mm -mm, I'm not, a, a, nope, you need to call somebody else. <laughs> Everybody's afraid of it. I'm afraid of it too. It's gonna give way at some point and take a wall out. Okay, there we go. Lovely. And I've chosen these two simple patterns to go on the B side. Top and bottom. So this is nice and simple. And then I still have the pocket to install right here. And then I also have somewhere, I had a trimmed piece, maybe this is it, to 
fit on here. Yes, it is. How about that? Did I ink it? Yep, that's how I picked it out. I could see that it was inked, so usually that's an indication that I have a plan for it. Not always, but most of the time. I hope everybody's doing good. Don't forget, take a minute, tell me yes, no. Give me your opinions on the next album. And I'm really anxious to get my hands on the new uh, Mente collection that we are taking pre-orders on right now. I'm really, I've not worked with it. I'm really looking forward to it. You know, I was really enjoying working with um, the, <clears throat> this is from the 8x8, I think. Oh, why can't I? Yes, definitely from the 8x8. Um, but, uh, we're, I don't know what's going on with Blue Fern, but we can't, we can't get them to return our calls, so I'm worried that they may not have made it through, you know, some of the economic challenges of COVID. I hope that's not true, but, yeah, so if anybody's heard anything about that, I'd love to hear that as well, or if you've seen any new collections come out for Blue Fern. I'd love to know that. <clears throat> I don't think they're mad at us. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they're not mad at us. It's just unfortunate and I'm, I'm hoping I'm wrong, but. Okay, same thing here. I'm gonna have to trim that down a little bit so we have these two um, color blocked areas. I'm going to do a little bit at a time. I don't want to over trim it. I'd rather be safe than sorry. <sighs> That's pretty good. If I do say so myself. got these two pieces so I'm just trying to decide if I want to do something in addition to this because it looks kind of simple um, what I could do and what I think I want to do is a strip of each uh, on each pen and when I say a strip I mean one one block deep I'll show you what I mean in just a second and I think that'll make it a little bit more fun so basically a strip so I'll come uh, an inch down, add this, and then uh, cut that to fit. And I'll do both sides that way. it wider because it's going to interfere with the magnet. I'm trying to test it. Yeah. Shoot. That was dumb. Or I can change the orientation and make it this way. This way. And this. Or actually... Yeah. Okay. So this needs to be... Look at that. It's I'm going to be able to cut off each end and then uh, have it finish on a on a full square. I love it when that happens.
here we go. So we've got that, that. I don't like it. I want it this way. So what does that mean? So it means, how deep does this need to be? Just add a magnet so I can see exactly where it's at. It needs to be at least one and a half inches. So that's really what I want to do. So let me see. Oh, and yes, I can do it. I can do it. Yes, this will work. So, uh, I'm going to do an orange strip of one and a half inches. Okay, and that should adequately cover the magnet, and it does. Sorry, banging the stand, the you know, camera's on. Then we'll add this strip. I'm liking it, it needs to be inked. I don't really know how wide it is, but it's basically one block deep. Call it a block, but it's really a square because a block is dimensional. I heard all the teachers out there yelling at me. It's not a block. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now I can. Let's see if this is going to fit. It is going to be shy, so I'm just going to turn a piece off here so that it fits perfectly. And we're good to go. Make that a little tighter. There we go. There we go. Much more interesting than just a one blank stucco wall print. Not blank, but no strong image on it. Okay, now I am going to repeat that process on the top, but before I go there, I'm going to share with you what my insert looks like. So it's just pulling those patterns back in. There we go. So that's done. So the next thing we're going to do is up top. So again, we're going to start with a one and a half inch strip. like you guys can tell me is typically I, when I release a project I release all of the tutorials at one time um, does that matter to you or would you care if I was releasing them one page at a time I really want to get that feedback because um, if you don't care I would probably like to release on a more frequent basis um, you know like a page a day um, 
but if it matters to now of course what that means is you have to wait for the tutorial to come out at the end which I can I assume would be very frustrating but I'd still like to hear it so we're doing pretty good on our subscribers and our views but I have noticed that you know there's been a bit of a decline and sometimes as um, as a creator who is bundling and then releasing all at once I'm slightly penalized by that because uh, YouTube wants to see my frequency for release go up now, they don't really care that I do nine in one day what they'd like to see is one every nine days or one a day for nine days that's their preferred uh, algorithm format so I'm just kind of curious if you guys care if you care I won't change anything um, if you don't care I might change it and then also the last thing is uh, assuming I stay in the same format where I do uh, eight or nine videos released at once do you care what day that happens on um, is there a preferred day for you or you just don't care because if there is I'll start trying to target that so please let me know drop me a line even if it's just to say I don't really care, um, but I want to get some opinions before, just while I'm considering making changes. They may, they may not happen, but I just want to get it out there and see what you guys are thinking. Should do it. it does. <clears throat> also, if you're a viewer and you do any of the projects, I want to remind you if you haven't already visited um, Scrap and Create and that's Scrap with the letter N Create on Facebook, go over there. Um, we've got a Facebook group um, where. Um, People share their projects, and as long as you're sharing a project uh, with paper that we sell, um, we, uh, you know, we're, we welcome you over there. But we are, we are a small business, and we are in the business of selling paper, so we ask that you not uh, do independent promotions there. Now, if you are interested in doing business with us or there's something that makes sense for us to, to work on together, we'd certainly entertain the idea, but we'd want you to instant message us first. Um, so we could figure that out. There we go. So there is page five. So naturally that went to, together a lot faster than page four because we've already done the, the basic format. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Next time we get together, we will be working on page six.